Alright y'all man, so Bleach Rebirth of Souls just released a new trailer and this time we're getting to see Soifun. And if you remember one of my videos that I posted a few weeks back, this is one of the characters that I was actually very curious how they were going to work with them because we have, we've seen in an anime that Soifun doesn't actually like using her Bankai because she can't move around as much. So I'm curious if this character is just going to stay in their Shikai and I'm also curious if it's only going to take a certain amount of lives to actually kill characters when you're using Soifun. Maybe she only has two phases since we've seen that a lot of the characters are just going for the normal map. It takes about three phases to fully kill somebody. But today's anime question is going to be which character do y'all like more, man? Are y'all more of a Soifun or a Yodaichi character, man? Let me know in the comments, man. Which one do y'all like more? And if this is something you think you might be interested in, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell, do all those nice things. And if you want to see more anime game content, make sure to join the Discord pinned in the description. But let's go ahead and get into this trailer, man. And as you know, man, we're gonna watch it through and then we're gonna go back and break it down. <laughs> All right, bro. What we got? Soul Reaper. Jahaku Daku. Okay. Captain Scott the overall enemy with a speed and deadly stinger. That was pretty fast. I can actually read that one. So, oh, new map. Ankin. Okay, so that's free. Ooh. What is that? Ah, oh, that's lovely. Ooh, some more Hado finally. Some more keto techniques. And a new song. You will die by my hand. So she's not using the Bankai. Bad. Like I figured. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so she uses it to finish you off. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and break it down. Alright, man, so we look at the breakdown, man. It says Captain of Squad 2 that overwhelm enemies with her speed and deadly stinger. So, pretty simple and straight to the point with that. The signature move, now remember, what we talked about in our last video that we just released, these signature moves are going to be a little bit free, but this one actually talks about it having a stock. So, an attack that sends an Ankin flying that consumes an Ankin stock. When activated while the Ankin stock is zero, it reloads the Zock. So, basically, this isn't taking your spiritual energy or anything like that, but it does seem like there's a stock, but at least it says when you don't have have it you can reload it so I'm curious if this is gonna how it's gonna work with all signature moves they might have just confirmed this or this might just only be a thing with Soifun and also Yodaichi because Yodaichi has this move as well and we know they both use Shunko so this is a chance that they'll both be using this type of thing but it's pretty cool I mean you saw it, it basically just her shitting out the same strike that we saw from Yodaichi the spiritual pressure move one is going to be the Kazagurama or the Nikiseki Katsatsu. Then basically Soifun instantly jumps in front of her opponent and attacks with the spinning kick. Holding input increases the number of attack with the maximum hold changing the ability to Negaseki Katsatsu. You win the battle when you hit Negeki Katsatsu twice. So this one has three different inputs. If you just press it instantly she's going to go in and she's going to come in with the flying kicks but if you hold it it's going to actually increase the number of kicks you got and if you hold it to the maximum this is when you're actually going to be able to see Soifun's Shikai ability where she hits you in the same spot twice twice she instantly kills you so this is pretty crazy you actually can use her spiritual pressure move to end the battle in two hits you don't even have to take off any kompaku or anything like that if you hold it to the maximum input and hit them twice the battle is going to be over and it actually just seems like there's going to be a way to hit this with the second move right here the second move is going to be the bakudo 30 shito susasen and lots of shito susasen forward and if it hits soifun strikes with the hakuda surrounded by keto as a follow-up attack holding the input will restrain the opponent for a longer time so we actually get to see the initial input where she just hits him with the keto and then follows up and then hits him with the attack we don't get to see what happens when you actually hold down the input but I'm, I'm already seeing a lot of people are going to hold this input down to the farthest they can and then they're going to come back and use the spiritual pressure move one to actually try to use the shikai ability this is pretty good and I think this actually pairs very well with this character and then we look at the awakening the awakening is just going to be by activating the incomplete shunko soifo enhances her combo damage the amount of spiritual power acquired and dash speed allowing her to make the most of her strips I'll probably throw up Yodaichi's on there just to compare the differences so y'all can look at it and see the difference But it looks pretty similar to what Yodaichi has But it won't really, I don't think we really get to see her use her spiritual pressure moves again We're seeing her doing the gameplay of her incomplete Shuko uh, Maybe that last little hit she does is actually the first spiritual pressure move with the kicks But it looks like she just gets to move a little bit faster and she can actually use her moves better But I think the main selling point with this character is definitely going to be the fact that she can use her 
her Shikai ability with her first spiritual pressure move. And I'm just curious how long you're actually going to have to hold this input down because they kind of give us a little bit of a cut into it, not really showing how long you have to hold it. But the fact that you can end the battle in just two spiritual pressure moves, that's pretty crazy and people are definitely going to be cheesing this. But now let's go ahead and go back and look at this again. Okay, man. So now we're going to break this down again, man. Let's see. Okay. Juhaku Raikoben. I like how they have the flower, man. Each each character has their own little unique opening, man. I like how they've been doing this, man. Really like. And I'm glad that they didn't make her. And we actually do get to see the Bankai. I didn't say that. You actually do get to see her Bankai. I think it's just how she finishes if she doesn't use her uh, her Shikai to finish you off. So we see just some basic combos. And here we can see the Ankin. She just kicks out. Hers is actually a little bit of a different color. We don't actually see her use it twice. But you see, she, this is just a normal auto, I think, that she just goes into after that. Then we can see this. This is just you just press the input quickly. And then they're going to show us what it looks like when you hold it. This is her actually using her Shikai release. And that's why you can see the flower pop up. Then we got the second move. This is the, uh, this is her using the auto. Boom, hit you with it. And this is the follow up. So this is just the quick activation. They don't show us the long activation that actually holds them there for a longer amount of time. Then we're getting to see the same animation that we always see whenever they're doing the reversal. Boom. You see the Shunko coming on here. That's a nice little, uh, that might be the thumbnail right there. Yep. Uh, I like calling it out to y'all whenever I see it in the video, man, what the thumbnail is going to be. Then we got the incomplete Shunko. Looking very nice. Her moving in this right here at the end. Maybe this is her using the spiritual pressure move one right here with the kicks because you can see the aura around it. And then we're actually going to see, there's the Bunkai. You're going to see her pop it right here. You're going to see the big missile. Where is it at? It should be coming. There it is, right there. So I think you use that to finish the battle if you don't finish it with your Shunko. I think when they have like maybe two maybe like two of their kompaku left and you finish the battle i'm pretty sure she'll go to the bankai form and then shoot off the missile man but let me know in the comments how y'all actually felt about soy fun's gameplay i feel like they did her how they should have done her i don't know if we'll get a second one I think this might be the only one we'll get unless they give us a thousand year blood war one. I'm actually kind of fine with what they did with the soy phone. I don't think we need one that just has her with Bankai gameplay because like we said, and then she even said it herself, she can't really move around with her Bankai. So I think this is the best way they could do her. And I think they might do some other characters with this similar way with only showing their Bankai in the final finish, depending on if they can actually really fight with their Bankai and move around with it. But let me know how y'all feel about the two hit kill technique they did with her. Do you think it's broken or you think they made it balanced? And just let me know how y'all been feeling about the gameplay of seeing some of these newer characters like Tozen and also her, man. But make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell, do all those nice things. And I'm going to see y'all on the next trailer next week, man. Yeah.